Welcome back to Excel 2010 for Beginners, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. This is lesson 6 of 12. If you landed on this lesson first, you can click on the link in the video window above to start back at the beginning. In lesson 6, we'll learn how to edit the data that we entered in lesson 5. In the last lesson, we created a basic spreadsheet showing a list of sales reps and their sales for each month from January through April. Now let's say I goofed. Alex's sales for February should have been 62, but I accidentally typed in 65. I need to correct that. Now as with everything in Excel, there are multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to edit data in a cell. I want you to pick one way and stick with it until you're comfortable. You don't have to remember all of these different methods. The first way to replace data in a cell is to simply type over it. So take your mouse and click on C3 or use your arrow keys and move there and then just type right over it. I'll type in 62. Notice that what I type in replaces the data that was there. Press enter and you can see the change has been made. You don't have to do anything special like delete the data first. Just type right over it. The next way to edit data in a cell is to use the formula bar. I can click on the cell, C3, then click on the formula bar right here and notice now I have a blinking cursor. I can then backspace over the 2 and replace it with, oh, let's say a 7. So now it says 67. Press enter and you're done. Now 67 is the value in cell C3. So you can use the formula bar to make changes to any data in a cell. This is especially handy if you have a lot of data in a cell and you don't want to have to replace the whole thing. Let's say sales rep, for example. Let's say I want this to say just rep instead of sales rep. I can come up here, click in the formula bar. Notice I clicked right after the word sales, and now I can backspace the word sales away, and then maybe press delete to get rid of that space. And now it just says rep, and I can press enter. All right, but I'm going to put that back so it says sales rep, and just type right over the cell. The formula bar is very handy if you have very long functions and you want to change just one little bit of a function or formula instead of retyping the whole thing. You can also edit a cell by simply double clicking on it. For example, let's say I want to change the 67 back to a 62. I will double click on cell C3. Notice the blinking cursor. Now I'm in edit mode and I can press delete to delete those characters and press 62. For those of you who have not taken my Microsoft Word course and don't know the difference between the backspace and the delete keys, here's how they work. The backspace key eats the characters on the left side of the blinking cursor. So if I press backspace right now, back, 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 you can see it eats the characters on the left or behind the cursor. The delete key on your keyboard eats the characters on the right side of the cursor. So if I press delete, 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 you can see it eats the characters on the right side of the blinking cursor. That's the difference between backspace and delete. It works the same in Excel. As long as you're editing a cell and you have the blinking cursor, it works the same as it does in Microsoft Word. As I mentioned earlier, there are a ton of different keyboard shortcuts that you can use when working with Excel. One of my favorites is the F2 key, Function 2. It's on your keyboard, right across the top row usually. If you press the F2 key, it will put you into edit mode in whatever cell you happen to be in. So I'm going to move my mouse out of the way and if I'm using the arrow keys to move around and I decide I want to change that cell, all I have to do is press the F2 key on my keyboard. And now I'm in edit mode. So now I can change that to a 97 and press enter. 
That's the F2 key. So to recap, you can edit the data in a cell by simply overtyping it, which means clicking on it or moving to it and just typing some stuff over it. Or you can use the formula bar, click on the cell, then edit the data in the formula bar. Or you can double click on a cell and change it right in place. Or you can press the F2 key to go into edit mode in the cell also. As I said before, there's many ways to do things in Excel. Pick one way that you're comfortable with and stick with that. You can erase the data from a cell by using the delete key on the keyboard when you're not in edit mode. For example, let's say I want to delete the word pat from cell A5. I'll use my keyboard and move over to cell A5 and then press the delete key. Notice all of the data has been removed from cell A5. I just erased it. That's the delete key when you're not in edit mode. Now let's say I goofed. I really want Pat there. Well, I've got a couple of options. I could just retype Pat, but there's a way to undo a mistake. It's called the undo feature. If at any time you realize that you goofed, Come right up top here on the Quick Launch Toolbar and find the Undo button. Right now it says Undo Clear because the last thing that I did was I cleared the data out of cell A5. I'm going to now click on the Undo button and it puts Pat right back there. That was the last thing that I did. If you keep clicking on the Undo button, it will continue to undo the previous steps that you did in order to try and fix your mistake. Undo also has a close cousin, which is the redo button right here. Redo is essentially the undo for the undo. It puts the mistake back. So if you decide you really wanted to get rid of Pat, click on redo, and it will clear the cell again. But I do want Pat there, so again, I'll undo it. Undo essentially steps backwards and then redo steps forwards again. And we'll talk a lot more about undo and redo and some different options in future lessons. For now, I just want you to know that undo is there. So if you make a mistake, you can click on the undo button to get rid of that mistake. This is the end of lesson six. You can click on the link in the video window above to jump to lesson seven. Also, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when I release new free tutorials. For more information on my Excel courses, visit my website at 599cd.com slash xyt2010.